A nearby GDI base is conducting further ion research. In doing so, they use a large number of chemicals located in their biocenters, destroy all the biocenters, and contaminate all units and civilians. Leave all other structures intact so that it looks like an accident. Welcome then guys to a fun little mission here in Cobra Operations for uh, Command & Conquer Remastered. And what I'm going to do is start by moving my units into two different groups. And what I'll do going forward is use the unit with the best defense against whatever I'm going to be up against. So in this example, flamethrowers go forwards because they are much more resistant to infantry than the chem troopers. Our first look at chem troopers as well here. Chemical warrior, sorry. They look fantastic, I gotta say. Unfortunately, they're not nearly as effective as you might want them to be. They're actually less dangerous against infantry than regular flamethrowers. Move in. But against vehicles, they are much more dangerous. Let's move down here. Oh, deal with them. They're also slightly better at keeping themselves alive and not blowing themselves up. I'm going to split them into two groups here. Be relatively aggressive pushing forwards. Move down here. Come on. I need you to pull back around. Deal with him. Head this way, guys. You can hear people dying on Siberia and elsewhere in the map. You can push forwards here. Now, we need to ensure that we don't accidentally blow up anything in this village. It can be done just because the pathfinding sometimes thinks the best method forwards is to just blast their way through. That would fail us the mission, though. Move up to here. Deal with them. Big group here. Okay, quick plane tanks, move in. You might as well come and deal with him. Oh, that was a mistake actually, because it yes, meant that I <laughs> almost lost one of my flame tanks. I'm about to now. Okay, this area is clear, which means we get another flame tank. More effective than the camp troopers, I've got to say. Oh, we've got reinforcements arriving behind us here. Shouldn't be an issue. Unit we can come sit here. Ooh, rocket soldiers. Yes, okay, sir. it might be an issue. Yes, sir. No, don't destroy that. Yes, sir. Put a little bit of a distance between you and them. Moving Keep moving up. Unit Spread them out. Let the grenadiers take the damage first. No, 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 no. Yes, no. Okay, get them now. Deal with him next. Reporting. Moving out. Yes, okay, out. move. Moving out. Ready and wait. Moving out. Across the bridge, guys. Keep pushing forwards. You got it. Roger. Affirmative. It's a relatively straightforward mission, this one. Roger. Hang on, where are you going? Yes, sir. Of course, bridges. The bane of pathfinding in Tiberian Dawn. Stop it, guys. I need you up here. I also need this guy to play a crucial role in the next battle, because we're going up against another tank. These guys are going to kill themselves if they're not careful. In fact, there's almost nothing I can do to prevent that from happening. You're going to be one, you're two, everyone else is three, because I have a feeling I can only engage with one tank at a time in the next battle. Right, one, down you go. Two, follow, three, 
One, stop where you are. Yes, sir. Everyone get across this river first, just in case. Yes, sir. You're the best member of three as well. Right, there we go. There's the tank. One, pull back here. Oh, okay. That's not going to work at all. You need to come down here. Your cam spray is going to be crucial. Fire! Okay, then. We won't ask what's going on here. Finally. Another flying tank down here. I think every medium tank you kill gives you another flying tank. This guy not firing almost cost us. I thought the medium tank might pursue him and I could get more flying tanks into the fight, but uh, it didn't work at all. Fine, fine. Where's my... What? Why do I trust you? Why do I leave you? <laughs> For goodness sake. Right. I ain't gonna wait. Right, stop being a fool. Come across here. This mission doesn't have a timer, but what can happen if you suddenly find yourself relying on infantry if like, your flying tanks get destroyed is the Tiberian grows fairly quickly and suddenly you have to cross large areas that are completely infested. The chem warriors, I'm 90% sure, can run across this without taking damage and they're the only infantry that can do so. Or at least that's how it works in later games. Maybe I'm mistaken on that in Tiberian Dawn. I seem to have a vague recollect uh, recollection that it doesn't work as it should, or as you expect. Anyway, last defenders are up ahead. Well, until we get to their base, anyway. This path to the north here, that takes them in the main door of the base, but there's too many turrets there, you just get wiped out. Awaiting order. Moving out. Acknowledge. Come on, tank. I do love flame tanks. My favourite flame tanks in the series definitely uh, Kane's Wrath. Once they get the purifier flame, it's they are so powerful. At least in an anti-building role. Kill him first. Destroy one of my own flame tanks there for nothing. Oh, hang on, we missed something down here. Oh, no, no, we didn't. That's a comm center down there. I don't need to destroy that. Okay, we've got three reasonable health flame tanks now. We're approaching the kind of end stage of the mission. I think some reinforcements, some GDI reinforcements will spawn behind me here if I remember. So I need to keep my units fairly close together and not spread out so they can assist. I think it's like a, a bunch of Humvees. Maybe I'm misremembering. Almost there guys. Let's keep going up. We're right outside their base now. Once we engage here, they're all going to come running. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Here we go. Flame, guys. Watch out for destroying that barracks by mistake here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Oh, got Humvees coming up behind. Come on, bring him down. Okay. We're in. Yes, sir. Moving out. Now we just got to find those bio centers. Careful not to destroy yes, anything else. There's one. You come up here and assist just in case anyone spawns. Keep a distance though. Cool seeing these as a GDI building. It's the only instance where that's the case. That's one down. Civilian there. <laughs> Moving out. Yes, sir. Moving out. There's the other one. Moving out. Affirmative. Waiting for affirmative. Here we go. Yes, sir. And that's mission accomplished, I think. Where is the last biocenter? Did I walk past it? I did. How did I manage this yes, one? Sir. I must be going blind in my old age. Look at that, there's a orchid up here. Crash one. Yes, sir. I thought for sure I was about to end that now. I did think there was three. Yes, sir. Just managing your flame tanks is the kind of key to victory here. The camp troopers, yes, as much as you might want them to have a role in the mission, don't really play that big of a yes, part. Now why is the mission not ending? Do I have to exterminate all these civilians? It certainly helps to read your briefing before you begin the mission, so if I had, I would have known to kill all these civilians as well. I guess I was under the impression that destroying the bio-research centers would contaminate the civilians, and not contaminate in air quotations, meaning exterminate them all with flame. But never mind, it's probably for the best that I leave them till the end. It means less chance of accidentally doing damage to my own guys, as flame tanks are want to do. Oh look, two clones. Maria 1 and 2 met the same fate though. Yes, sir. Right, let's finish him off. I would love to know if there's anything in that church, but unfortunately it would fail the mission even finding out. Come on, are you stopping? What happened here? <laughs> yes, sir. Moving Couple down here. Oh wow, look, you can see like the individual strands of uh, wheat or barley or whatever it is in these fields now. Such amazing detail. That's some sort of vegetables. I miss someone? I remember seeing two people. Did someone run and hide over here? Ah, they did. You thought you'd get away. ID. Sorry, ID. Dave running for his life. Is there someone down there as well? Nah, I don't think so. Dave temporarily defeated the pathfinding of the tanks, but unfortunately for him, I was here to assist. Yes, and now finally, after all this wait, mission, mission accomplished.
Sorry for the anticlimactic ending there. 17 minutes, I should have been done in under 10, really. I have a feeling the same thing happened when I was playing uh, Vanilla last year. Anyway, 100% efficiency, that's what I'm talking about. So as far as the game's concerned, we were way under time. Though our leadership was appalling because we lost everything but one flame tank. But hey-ho, it doesn't really matter. As long as you keep your flame tanks alive, you shouldn't have too much trouble with the mission. There's only a couple medium tanks to really uh, pose much of a threat. I guess you count some grenadiers and that as well. Anyway, we're switching back over to the GDI side of Cove Operations for Elemental Imperative. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.